everyone, Joshua Luetta here. I have a couple of special guests with me. My little sisters, Jordan and Jesse Luetta. I actually have three younger sisters, but she plays basketball at ASU, so uh, it'd be nice if she was here today to interview all three of you. But I uh, really want to just introduce them and um, you know, let you get to know them a little bit. For any sports fans out there or younger athletes you know, who are aspiring to play college ball or get to the next level, whatever that may be, I um, really just wanted to ask them some questions and kind of give you some insights of you know, what it takes to get to that level and the work they put in and you know, what they're doing now. So, Jordan, you want to start with introducing yourself and where you play ball? And, for sure, you know, yeah. Well, well, thanks for having us. Jamie, I know you'll be watching this. We miss you. We love you. Yes, You'll get your turn. <laughs> Um, yeah, so my name is Jordan. Um, I'm currently a graduate assistant at Southern Utah University. I'm getting my master's in public administration and then doing some um, kind of involvement with the team, coaching staff, I mean, coaching, coaches meetings. Um, I help with away game itineraries, um, just kind of different things that the coaching staff um, needs and stuff behind the scenes. Um, but our, our staff there is just awesome. The head coach, Tracy, she lets me just be involved with all the basketball side, and I think that's a little different for each program, so that's been really great. Um, Where did you play basketball at? I played at the University of Oregon in Eugene. I graduated in 2016. Um, we played our whole lives growing up. A um, little bit about my story, I guess. After I graduated from Oregon, I worked um, in Washington a little bit, and I moved to Bend, Oregon, and I worked for Bee Bottle Company. Our family was huge on Bee Bottle when I first started. Um, just a great startup company. Um, got involved from Daniel Eglund. He started this business, and it was just a great experience to see a business just grow from the ground. So, uh, Bee Bottle Company, check them out. Um, they're doing awesome. It was very hard to leave. I started coaching um, a high school team assistant coach in Bend, Oregon. Um, and that's when I kind of decided I wanted to get back on the court, back in to just influencing young athletes' lives as much as I could and, and share my experience. So um, from there, I just stumbled upon this great opportunity and I think I got really lucky to be living um, in Cedar City right now with an awesome program. Um, we're definitely looking up, so awesome. it's been great, yeah. Awesome. Exciting times. and Very exciting, yeah. yeah. Well, you're learning amazing. I'll take that with you the rest of your life. For so. sure. What about you, Jesse? <laughs> sure. um, well, I'm Jesse. I uh, am currently a up my season right now. Um, I mean, growing up, I've watched these two play basketball and all sorts of other sports, and they've inspired me to want to fulfill um, a career in basketball in college. And so I uh, earned a scholarship at Gonzaga from playing all my life, and, and now it's my senior year, and it went by so fast. Um, but I'm really looking forward to what my career will take me after I graduate. Awesome. Yeah. What are you getting your degree in? Um, I am a special education um, reading endorsement to teacher cert. And so hopefully someday I can become a teacher in the elementary area. Yeah. Someday you'll do it. Yeah. Yes. We'll do it. <laughs> hopefully soon. <laughs> well, it's yes. interesting how fast time flies, right? Where you graduated four years ago, you're a senior. Yeah. I mean, yep. For anyone out there playing sports and, and playing ball, I'm sure you can relate that time flies and yes. for all you young athletes out there enjoy it and, and work hard every day. Yes. You never know when your opportunity will arise. So, yes. well, thanks for sharing. And uh, a couple questions, you know, just want to ask you guys and get to know yeah. you a little bit more and, you know, give some feedback to people out there sure. that are watching. And um, what, what what would you say is the best part about competing when you were playing basketball? Oh, and, like, that's what a have great you question. Learned? Um, Gosh, especially, I think it's something that you might realize after you're done is just that camaraderie you have with your team. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you have your good days, you have your bad days. Like, that happens with AU, it'll happen through all sports. Um, but especially being done and stepping away, looking back, it was like, you will you just won't get that time to, like, be there with, like, your sisters, you know, your team. Just grind in the weight room, grind in practice. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just, like, the grind day to day of, even though it can take a toll on your body and it can be a little bit like, oh, I don't want to do this today. But I think it's just the grind and effort we collectively always had together. So Interesting. That's yeah, good I think it's just competing with, you know, people on the same page, the same family yeah. for the same goal. So 
Yeah. That's not you take it, you know, with you outside of sports. Oh, right? sure. You get to work, yeah. you start a business with a family, whatever it may yeah. be. It's we're gonna. There's a lot of times where we go somewhere we don't want to be there, right? Yeah. Like you go to work that day, and it's like oh, I really don't want to be here today. For sure. Yeah. And I think outside of you know sports, you have like with work, any kind of you know my experience with just like the corporate world, you're still in this team of people trying to reach this mission, this common goal. So you know, it's just really sticking with. Um, you know, that group of people that you build relationships with and, and I mean, competing in the same sense, like, yeah. we're gonna have the best ball in the world, you know, kind of thing, so. Awesome. Yeah. What about you, Seth? I mean, I agree with everything, too, and I'd like to add on that. Thanks. <laughs> um, I mean, just growing up, you're playing sports and you're competing and all that, and, and I know in high school, I didn't realize how far I could get, yeah. and when I you know, was able to get to that in college, I didn't know I could really fulfill all these goals and go as far as I do, and it's just a great feeling. You have all these people who are there to support you and you play with, and I guess just that feeling of accomplishment you get every year or after every game with what you, how you perform and what you mm-hmm. did and um, what goals you reach is just such a great feeling. And then going in after, I mean, after every season, I'm still setting new goals, and when I go into coach camps, and that's what I want to do to those yeah. kids yeah. who I'm coaching. I want to inspire them and I want them to know that at the end there's always something you're going to be working towards and I think college uh, basketball has really shown that I could really go so far yeah. and accomplish such great things working hard and doing what I want to do and focusing on the, um, the end point or what I'm trying to reach to set even more goals after that yeah that's awesome and on the topic of goals we all have goals right and everyone sets them different you yeah. follow through different and you write it down I mean, how do you visualize it so what would you say in regards to setting goals? How do you how do you make sure you're keeping track of attaining that goal? Um, I know with our team we talk about uh, setting a goal or setting somewhere or a point we want to get to. But before that, there's going to be other little goals or little steps you have to accomplish. And so we can always have that big um, thought or goal that we want to accomplish at the end. So like for us, we want to get past the second round of the NCAA tournament this year. And so to get that, we have to get through every game and
have classes in the morning before practice, and we'll go to practice for about two to three hours, and we'll have a lift for weights um, on some days, not always in season, because we don't want to overwork our bodies. And then oh, some of us have night classes, and so we'll go from class to practice to class, and sometimes it's right after practice, and so we have to go in our practice gear, yeah. which is never fun, but we know that being doing well in the classroom leads on to doing well on the court too, and it really shows who we are as a student athlete and it represents our school and so um but that's kind of every day and then we go on away trips we miss classes but um we reach out to our professors before at the beginning of the season and the week of and just hey we're missing these days they'll give us what we need and they work really well with us too and um, i think just because we show the um how we perform in the classroom is really good and so they're willing to work with us and so we'll do work on the road
Shut up or shut up. <laughs> just, just be committed. And, and don't, yeah, and just, and just be committed. And, and, you know, at the end of the day, if you can say that you got better that day at anything, any aspect, then it's, that's a win. So it's good. Get better every day. Do right? more, say less. I like it. Do yeah. more, say less. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Awesome. Well, I love you girls and thank you for love coming you. in here. Thanks for having us. Jamie, we'll, we'll get you in here soon as well. And Tatum, uh, thank you for being here. Do you have anything to add? You have anything to say, Tatum? No? no. <laughs> How about So, awesome. Well, happy Valentine's Day. Hope you enjoy the day with your families. And, you know, if you guys have any questions, we'll post a link to the Bee Bottle. Um, you can check out their bottles and the awesome company they are. Yes, and, yes, yes, uh, yes. Of course, Jesse at Gonzaga and, and Jordan at Southern Utah University. Their schedules are online. You can follow as well. So Pluto TV, it's <laughs> free. <laughs> so awesome. Well, thank you for watching, and hope you have a great weekend. Thank you. Thanks.